Hey folks, Photo Joseph here. Just a really, really quick video. I wanted to show you a new way to configure your small rig for the GH5, thanks to Jim Williams, one of the viewers of my show, who sent me a picture of his rig, which he bought after watching my original video, and he showed me a different way he found to configure it, and this is really, really great. So essentially what we've got here is the handle on top as it's designed to be done. It's sitting right on top, and now the Atomos arm, the little uh, elbow that you can buy for this, is mounted on the front. See, I didn't realize at first that you could actually mount to the front of the rig, I just the front of the cage. I just never really noticed that. So now that I see that you can, it puts this monitor a little bit lower, a little bit farther forward, and the handle can still be on there. And you can completely use it like this. This is great. So now it's more balanced. When I hold onto this, it's a nice even balance on there. I'm able to hold it with one hand before I had the handle off to the side. And this just makes the whole thing much more usable. Now, a couple things to notice here. When I first set this up, I was a little bit concerned that the glass here might hit the handle. If I tilt this too far forward, of course, I wouldn't want the metal handle of the rig to hit the glass of the Inferno. Turns out, though, the way that the elbow for the Inferno is designed, that's not actually possible. It gets close, but it doesn't hit it. Now, I would imagine if you slam this thing forward, it might flex a little bit and hit it, so be aware of that. If you're gonna mount it this way, be careful you don't do that. But as long as you don't do that, I think it's gonna be just fine. You'll also see over here that I've mounted another cold shoe on the side of the rig because the microphone really can't go on the handle at this point because that would definitely block the view of the Ninja. I uh, kind of can't go on the other side because the cable from the HDMI coming out of the GH5 going into the Ninja needs to be here. So really, this is the solution to put it off to the side here. But of course, if anybody has any other great ideas for that, I'm open to it. I think this is a really good way to configure it and probably better than the original one that I had. And if you wanna see what the original way was, click up here, we'll link to the video where I originally did a, a kind of an unboxing and showing of the small rig. And of course, if you decide to buy a small rig for yourself, use the link photojoseph.com slash small rig, and that'll take you to their landing page at small rig where you'll get 10% off.